Hello everyone, my name is Aisha. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I don't know what I'm doing, but today's video is going to be my second book haul on this channel. And technically my second book haul of the year. If you watch my previous book haul video, you would know that I'm a broke girl. <laughs> and I tried my possible best not to spend too much money on books. So most of these books are either book mails from publishers or publicists that just want me to read their books and some book mails from my friends as well so i'm going to be sharing some of those books one of them i'd already finished reading one i'm currently reading two are on my immediate tbr list so, so the first book on my list is one that i'd already read and the title is the stone house by jara awari when I said I'd already read it, I mean that the book came and I immediately started reading it because it's a novella. And this book is about a Palestinian family. It's loosely based on the author's family. And um, it centers three narratives from three different Palestinian generations. The first character's name is Mahmoud and we have his mother whose name is Diba, I believe. And his grandmother whose name is Amda. And we basically have um, narrations from their three perspectives that span the history of Palestine. So Palestine as we know it now, Palestine before the Nakba and the creation of Israel, and Palestine during the Uthman occupation. One thing I like about this book is that it focuses... Okay, I'm already reviewing the book. Anyway, I wanted to mention this. One thing I like about the book is that it focuses on the narrative of palestinians with israeli citizenship so you can imagine how complex that identity can be but anyway the first book i really enjoyed it the second book on this list is edible water reflections on illness by shahd al shamari i believe this book was sent to me by nim tree press and it's a memoir about illness i have never read anything by a muslim author that focuses on illness so i'm interested in seeing how this is going to go i don't really like when mouse but this is a reflection so i'm i just think it's going to be fun chat and look at it now it's a fine book but yeah <laughs> i'm trying to rush because i have a lot of things to do and i really want to talk about these books because i promised that i would last week in my previous video the third book is the city of brass by s.a chakrabati so i have a quick story about this book this book i was on the book tour on bookstagram in 2017 and it was actually part of my writing rima she got me on the book tour and my copy got lost when it was coming to nigeria so when i told her she was like oh my god aisha you see i haven't read this book since 2017 i'm going to send you a copy so here we are she's trying to get me to read fantasy she's the friend that i mentioned is trying to get me on fantasy so i'll probably do a reading vlog for this book because <laughs> we'll see how it goes yeah the fourth book is oh one of my anticipated read for 2022 the pen is the wing of a bird new fiction by afghan women i love afghan literature translated like in english of course so and this is an anthology <laughs> oh of course <laughs> so this book was sent to me by kekos i believe yeah Kirkus. <laughs> I can't pronounce it, but anyway, yeah, it came in the mail, I think, early this month. But it's an anthology of writing by Afghan women, some of them still live in Afghanistan. So I can imagine how raw and very authentic this collection is going to be. So very eager to read this. Um, the next book is Bitter Orange Tree by Joha Al Haq. Alahati, I can't pronounce her name. She's basically the author of Celestial Bodies. It's the first book by an Arab woman to have won the International Booker Prize. So I haven't read it, and I actually have a copy somewhere. I'm still trying to sort out my books. So I have the copy of uh Celestial Bodies, so I'm very glad to read this one. I'll probably do like a video of reading like the two of them. We'll see how it goes. But yeah it's a very short novel i don't want to go into it 
with the blob in my mind. I want to go into it blind. So I've not read the blob. I've not read anything about it. So we'll see how it goes. And I think this was sent to me by Scribner. Scribner Books, yeah. Next book is The Island of Missing Tree by Elif Shafak. This is on the long list for the Women's Prize. And it's going to be my first Elif Shafak. Well, it's my first Elif Shafak. This is the book for my book. <laughs> this is the book for my book club. And I just started reading it. I'll try my possible best to finish it before the end of March, but I can't promise. Anyway, um, I don't know if I'm going to like it because I've known about Elif Shafak for a while, but our books have just never pulled me. But I'm willing to give it my best because everybody in my book club appears to love this book. So we'll see how it goes. I have another women's prize for fiction long place and that is beauty house around my body by violet copper smith so this book is based on two vietnamese women and it appears i like vietnamese literature so when i saw this book i just knew my god that i had to read the book and it's also one of the book club picks for my book club which is called indulgent bibliophile by the way so We'll see how this one goes. I have to read it for my book club anyway. So it's a win win because I want to read it and I have to read it. The next book is this anthology called Your Feet Will Lead You Where Your Art Is. Edited by, I cannot pronounce these names. They are Cameroonian names. I can't pronounce them. My favorite thing about this book is this. It's an anthology but bilingual. The front part of this anthology is translated to English. The back is written in french i am not big on french as a colonial language but hell i speak english <laughs> anyway so this was what drew me to this book i like well i dislike the fact that i can't speak french because nigeria is surrounded by francophone countries and i would like to engage more with francophone literature but there's nothing i can do i can't speak french so i just wanted to read this book because the publisher is a small publisher Bakwa Bakwa yeah I think it's Bakwa yeah it's Bakwa yes Bakwa books so looking forward to reading this because I don't think I've read anything by a Cameroonian author I don't believe so if you like reading in English and French this is probably a book you should get because I've never seen a book like this the next book is Addis Ababa no also an anthology edited by Maza Lengitsti. <laughs> She's the author of The Shadow King and I love that book so much. But yeah, this book is based in Ethiopia. And aside from books by Maza Lengitsti, I, I don't think I've read anything based in Ethiopia. So this will be a very good introduction to Ethiopian writing. The next book is also from Kasava Republic Press. This book is from Kasava Republic Press. The next book from Kasabai Public Press is Unbury Our Dead with Song by Mukoma Wa Ungiki. This book is written by Mukoma Wa Ungiki, the son of Ungugi Wa Tiongo. If that doesn't connect, I don't think I've read anything by him. This will probably be my first book by him. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. It came out in 2021 and Kasabai Republic is also an independent publisher so you should definitely check out their books some of my favorite books were published by them i have another book from well i have two more books from classified republics but this one is called men don't cry translated from french and written by faiza Gouen. my friends love this book like people that i trust they really like this book and this book is based in France, but about an Algerian family. Technically, I'm Algerian by naturalization. Asia has bestowed <laughs> the Algerian identity on me. <laughs> anyway, I'm very excited to read this book because Asia loves it. She's my Algerian sister. And yeah, you know, Asia loves it. <laughs> and it's also, I believe, a book club pick for indulgent people for, but I don't know which month. I can't remember which month. So definitely going to read it this year, inshallah. The last book from Kasafari Republic Press is An Unusual Grief by Yuwandi Omotosha. So I've had the chance to read books by this author twice. A first book, Boom Boy, and um, a second book, The Woman Next Door. 
the first book just didn't pull me i just didn't get the vibe to want to read it the second book i've just never had the chance to pick it so maybe if i read this one maybe i would want to read the other ones this book is about a woman who suddenly loses her daughter and she has to go to her daughter's town keep um johannesburg the book is set in south africa shop but the characters are yoruba and she has to like come to terms with her daughter's life and like the grief of losing her daughter so it sounds interesting <sighs> i have i hope we'll see how it goes the next book is cure by carly metis this book was sent to me by a publicist and it is based on like a viking character set in sweden and it has like this viking energy um, i wouldn't say this is like fantasy but i just like the vibe i've never read anything with a character that has viking like roots so we'll see how this one goes and i believe it is published by an independent publisher anyway very excited for it the next book is woman of the ashes by mia koto so i tried to read one of his books this mia koto i tried to read one of his books in 2019 but it didn't work out it did not work out this author is from mozambique and the book is set in 1894 mozambique so we'll see how this goes all of this we'll see how it goes the next book is Posthumous Memoirs of Braz Kubas by Makado de Assis. This is also translated fiction. Oh, August is going to be a lovely month because I have a lot of translated fiction. Mm, uh, I don't know what this book is about, but it is set in Brazil. The author is from Brazil and I believe the book is set in Brazil. We'll see how this goes. The next book is Tauba and the Meaning of Night by Sharush Prapasipo. This book is definitely Iranian. I said it. I said it. The book is based on a character called Tauba. She is an intellectually intrepid and spiritually gifted woman. And she's an Iranian descent. Oh, this is going to be lovely. Oh, this book was published by Feminist Press. So, <laughs> looking forward to this. This is also translated. So, August. August. The next book is Memphis by Tara M. Stringfellow. Oh, God. So, this book, I've seen it a couple of times on Booktube. The first place I saw it was from D. I I would link a channel. And she raved about this book. It is about three generations of black women set in America. I love books about different generations of women. So I want to read this book. Like, I really want to read it. I was going to read it, like, in March. But, mm, no. Anyway, the last book is Beasts of a Little Land by Joy Kim. Oh, I love Korean literature. So... <laughs> And this is also a debut. I don't know what it is, but I feel like Korean women, they write very stunning debuts. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I just picked the right books or I just see the right books. They write very good debuts. I was going to read this for Korean March, but it was just a lot. I, I read way too many books this month than I already read monthly. So big props to me. <laughs> but anyway, this is the last book. So these are all the books I have gifts from friends that i didn't specify some of them some of them are gifts from friends and some of most of them are definitely gifts from publishers so we'll see how they go can you see that i never pick books that i don't have the intention of reading all of these books i'm so excited about them oh I forgot to mention this book was signed by the author anyway if you've reached the end of this video comment the books emoji again Thank you for watching up until this point. I appreciate you. I hope you've enjoyed this book haul. I hope you find a book that you're interested in or one that you would want to pick. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video if you like it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.